So all I've done basically is tie it over and over again in a knot. Or you could do a little bow like that. Or you could do a really big bow. And you could keep your hair up or you could bring it down again. Hello and welcome to a brand new week. Now, this morning, it being Monday, um, the weather was so gorgeous, really sunny, really warm, 16 degrees, 61 for those in America. Um, America, that's all I'm going to say. Um, but yes, it was so delicious, I had to go to the beach and practice using my new Olympus camera. Um, which I don't use for videos because this one's much wider, but I am using it for more fashion photography for Instagram and food and things like that. So keep an eye on Instagram. Um, I also today put up another, because it went down so well on here, another mindful, mindful mindfulness um, little bit of sea and seagulls and sound effects and, of course, dear Jack. Um, so that's up on Instagram today. So I'll put that in the middle or at the end for you. So you've got your mindfulness break in case you haven't seen it. And I'll try and do um, another one or make it longer. How would you like a longer one? Anyway, this is what I'm wearing today. Now I've put lipstick on mm, just for you. Um, I did put a headscarf on for the beach and I did where my gorgeous, let me do it up, well I'll show, I'm done first, um, bum bag, long, black leggings, cotton on in Australia, still love them, perfect for yoga, um, very thin but really warm enough today and these beautiful trainers, see close up, that my, oh I've come closer, my goddaughter gave them to me for my very special birthday. Anyway, I'll let you see it close up. Uh, uh, uh. I'll let you see it close up um, in a still. So, I wore this and another t-shirt. It's not that hot, although there were people in the sea. People in the sea on Saturday as well. They've invited me to join them. 11 o'clock every Saturday morning in the freezing sea. So, because of Wim Hof and co, I might do that. So... This, instead of just being daggy, you see, even on a keep fit day, a big walk with Jack, body coach online, um, but even on, because I'm sticking to this regime, um, I just decided to look all monochrome and I didn't wear lipstick on the beach, um, but I did make the effort. I think it's worth making the effort. Makes me feel so much better. My days are flying by because I have to get dressed. What am I going to wear today? Where should I take a photo? Must do a video for YouTube. Um, so thank you guys. It's actually giving me a raison d'etre. This amazing jacket I found in Buffalo Exchange. Oh, it's just, why do I keep, oh yeah, it's still at the back. Um, Buffalo Exchange in Portland. Um, Oregon. Um, so if you're stateside, have a look in Buffalo Exchange. I mean, the clothes, those shirts I showed you last week, a couple of them came from Buffalo Exchange and this beautiful jacket came from Buffalo Exchange. So result, and I'll see you for the next one. Gosh, the light's failing, but looks bright enough on here, apart from the sitting room. Anyway, I forgot to tell you, I might be dressing up every day, but I'm not putting any makeup on. I can't be asked. I've put red lippy on to show you this new dress, and I just put a tiny bit of eyeliner. Then I put a 50 factor, despite it being winter, 50 factor Elizabeth Arden on my face because it's got a slight tint. And then I put a oh, tiny bit of blusher. That's it. I can't be asked. Um... However, look at this beautiful, this is another palaver dress. UK, independent, small brand, love them to pieces. Um, they gave it to me, gifted, thank you, palaver. But I love it. And 
Um, it's not Tuesday because I may not have time. It's still Monday, but pretend it's Tuesday because I thought I would take my new Olympus camera, meet my friend on the beach and bully her into taking some photos of this lovely dress. Look, I'm wearing the beautiful boots with them. Um, right, let's see if I, you can see the boots if I go back. Way back, that's better. Here we go. Look, how's that? I think... Some of you will hate it, but I love the clumpy look with a pretty dress. Now, obviously, I would wear dainty shoes if I was going out for lunch or a function, and I would wear a big petticoat. But as I'm going to the beach to meet my friend in Shoreham tomorrow, Tuesday, I am going to wear this and my beautiful new metallic parka that you saw last vlog, and hope that I'll be warm enough. And this is another top tip. I got some brown leggings and took them up so that they're properly hidden because they look awful hanging down under a dress like this. And that will keep me warm. Associate, it is very mild, so I'll be fine. Okay, how's that? More tomorrow. Oh dear, what a difference a day makes when it comes to weather. It's only 2.20 in the afternoon, look how dark it is. I'm going to have to fiddle with the um, post-editing, well not post-editing, editing, after I've finished filming. Can't do anything about it, it's really dark. Um, anyway, I just wanted to show you quickly my outfit of the day. Now I've put this on, it's, a, it's another good tip, top tip for you Zoomers, um, or people you know who love going live on Instagram. I was doing a little recorded piece on how to do headscarves, so I'll slot that in, in case you haven't seen it on Instagram, it'll save you looking for it. Um, but what I also did, because um, I was a bit cold in the house, temperatures dropped, and also I've been doing, I did shower, I hasten to add, but I put this on first, for body coats, I did body coats this morning, yes! And I've got, can you see them? Dark green matching leggings, sort of baggy yoga pants, they're yoga pants. And I got those in Australia. Um, and then just to be more colorful and attractive on the Instagram live, I put this little vintage shirt on top which I'm pretty sure I got somewhere in Brighton. Promise I'll start a new regime once we're let out of lockdown. I will make a note of everywhere I go for vintage stuff. Doing my best. Right, so that's it. Very casual, at home. All I've done today, Amps had a very full day yesterday, which um, in that beautiful dress, it was so hot. I mean, hot 61 in November. I talk about global warming. Second day running. So I met a friend in home and we took a gorgeous photo of me posing in my new dress from Palava. And then I went to Shoreham and saw a friend there. We a very long walk on the beach. So literally Jack and I were out from 11.30 in the morning till five at night we are both it well he's still dead i mean he's hot we've had a short walk today and he is exhausted so um it's all that fresh air but now the weather's a bit shit and won't be going out quite as much anyway lots to do at home i'm doing something full of color for you i thought i'd make the effort put lippy on i've actually got full makeup on today as well um, and I'm going to do a headscarf tutorial because we haven't had one for a very long time. And I know a lot of you are still in lockdown like me and it's all getting very boring. So I thought I'd bring you a little bit more colour today and something useful as well. So I'm taking a huge, look how big that is, huge large scarf that I bought from my local, local um, clothes lady, Elif, who's also a very, very good friend of mine. I'll put the details below. 
Um, but I'm mentioning her because anybody who's got local shops, small independent businesses, please support them. Please don't keep buying from the big chains, even though I do occasionally. Please try and support the little guys because the big chains are still open during the England lockdown. I think it's a bit off. And um, the florists and the little cafes and the little, apart from takeaway, and the little shops that sell clothes and Christmas presents and scarves and hats and anything that you might want for winter can't open till the beginning of December earliest. So that's my rant over. So I folded it into a corner like that. The bigger, when it comes to scarves, the bigger the better to make it really good, um, to make it a really good tie. So then I'm folding it over again. So getting narrower and narrower, and then I'm folding it over again. That's a nice width, isn't it? You might have noticed um, this outfit with loads of chains and the same scarf. Um, a few rows back on the grid uh, when I was doing my Iris at full um demonstration which went down very well anyway tie your hair back it makes it much easier you can always bring it down again so there we go i am going to do this um silk is very slippy and this is silk and it's gorgeous but it's slippy that's why you need very long and if it's not very long then get a cotton headscarf they always tie better and it's lovely that I can use you as a mirror. So you could just do that and have the whole 60s vibe going on. That's quite nice, isn't it? Or you could do what I do. So tie really tight at the back and then bring it round as a knot. Smooth. My hair is getting, this fringe is getting long. Oh dear, I might have to trim it myself. Or go back to a quiff. So all I've done basically is tie it over and over again in a knot. Or you could do a little bow like that. Or you could do a really big bow and you could keep your hair up or you could bring it down again. And that's how easy it is. It's just making sure and put hair grips in if you're really unsure. But because I tied it tight, even though it's silk, it's staying put and the all sorts of variations on this theme but this is the easiest for me keeps the wind out of my ears um keeps my hair tidy and matches the pink vintage may i say another pre-loved shirt from god knows where i must start making a note of where i pick these up i think it was a vintage store in brighton and it was about eight quid how cool is this last outfit of the week nothing terribly exciting here um but i have got those boots on that have gone down so well on instagram and here here we go as usual i have to get really far away i've got my ordinary gap jeans on honestly i've made such an effort um dressing up for lockdown it really has made a difference to my mental state. I don't put makeup on every day, as you know. Um, I always put a little tiny bit of eyeliner in case I have to wear specs. Um, put a bit of blusher on, but I haven't put any foundation on. But my instead of loungy, loungy clothes all the time, and yes, sometimes I do stay in PJs all day if it, the weather's really dreadful. But yes, I've been putting jeans on and putting my lovely boots on and worn a dress this week out. And this is just a cheap Zara top. I love it because of this asymmetrical look. Um, it was cheap as chips. I always check the label um, to see where the stuff's made because Zara is better now about slave labor and sustainability. So I did check the label. I think it was Morocco and they do look after people much better in Morocco. So always check your labels, girls. It's very thin, so I've got my little vest on underneath. I'm sorry, I'm interrupting this broadcast to bring you an important message. Look, do you remember I showed you when I did my autumn haul 
my little blue cardi from toast. Well, I just got a bit chilly after finishing this video and I tried it on with this and I thought, that looks really nice. Boots are still on. Um, a bit clumpy for around the house. I do walk around barefoot most of the time. It's looking brighter blue than it actually is. It must be um, the light, but I'm very, very happy with this little toast cardi. It's not cold enough winter yet to need cardigans indoors, but I suddenly got a bit chilly. Um, isn't that nice? Thought you'd like to have a little look. So I've put my hair back because I was out in the garage in that wind, putting bins away. So, um, a little addendum. Oh, I don't like it done up. It's not so nice, is it? No, I think it's better like that. Okay. Oh, quite nice with the top button. On with the show. So that's it. But one last thing, because I did um, a scarf tutorial. Hang on a minute. Yes, this will save me um, going back and forth. But I did a scarf tutorial on um, head, how I tie my headscarves. And somebody asked how I do um, ordinary scarves. I said, well, I don't, neck scarves. So I don't wear scarves around the neck. It's not my kind of look. But she did mean winter scarves. And I'm not really sure that there's any neck to doing winter scarves, but I'm doing a winter scarf to finish all this off because I was so thrilled and please don't judge me, I'm a really bad girl. I bought this little hat from Uniglo and it was, um, well, it's a big chain, you know, it goes against everything I believe and it was really cheap, but it wasn't made in China. Um, but look at it, I, they, it's so cute, I bought a brown one. And it keeps my ears warm. And look at, I just love that little look. So I bought that and look how well it goes with my favorite, favorite scarf, which was, this was designed by, oh my goodness, I've forgotten her name. Really famous actress, Helen Bonham Carter for, it says Phenomenal Women. It was for International Women's Day or something like that. And Rora, lovely cashmere Aurora sent me this scarf as part of their campaign um this was ages ago so you can't actually buy these scarves anymore anyway that's how i tie mine it's very very windy outside i want my hair not whipping around my face so even going out to wash the wash to walk the dog he did get a wash today i'll tell you about that in a minute even just walking around the block, I'm making more of an effort. Coordinated hat. Um, that's how I tied my scarf. Um, and I'm as warm as toasty and won't get blown everywhere. This is my old Parker dog walking coat. Oh, it's perfectly fine, isn't it? And with the lovely boots, if you can see them, woohoo! Um, I'm as warm as toast, comfy, and I've got a little bit of added height. So this is where I'm going to leave you folks. Um, obviously I haven't got a lot to share because when I, I think I'm looking the wrong way, sorry. We, um, we're not allowed to do anything ex except meet one friend outside. Uh, but what I did do this morning, which is terribly exciting, was to join some cold water swimmers. Brighton has become awash with people. I don't know whether it's because of lockdown or because of Wim Hof, you know, the Iceman, as he's called. But everyone's into walk, uh, walking. Why can't I speak? It's, it's the cold water. Um, everyone is really keen now. There are groups of swimmers all over Brighton taking to the sea in November, some of them without wetsuits on. So as I'm a keen cold water, cold shower person, I thought I'd give it a go. I mean, I was in the sea really early this year in April, which is very cold then. So I do need to get a wetsuit organized. I can't do it completely naked because I'm gonna get a chill on my tummy. Um, but this morning I took Jack down to meet them all on my local beach 
Um, they meet at 11 o'clock. The sea was way too wild for even competent swimmers to go in. But I'm proud to say that I took my swimming shoes and I literally paddled for about five minutes and Jack got soaked. And I can't tell you, I was hysterical when I came back. Couldn't stop laughing talking to a friend on the phone. And I was very hot. I became terribly hot, then followed by being quite chilly. So hopefully that's given my immune system a great big boost. So I'm going to build up very slowly and very gradually over the next few, well, weeks, hopefully. And maybe I'll become one of those people in Britain who swim on Christmas Day. <laughs> Wouldn't that be cool? Uh, so that's about all I have to share with you this week, my lovelies. Don't forget to comment. You know how I love to hear from you. And I'm now going to leave you with another. I'm doing Monday mindfulness at the moment over on Instagram. So um, I'm going to show you, sorry if you follow me on Instagram, you'll have seen this before as well as the headscarf tutorial. But I'm leaving you with 30 seconds of mindfulness and small chat and more seasides hopefully you'll enjoy and then on monday on instagram there'll be one well i'm going to call it forest bathing because we spent a long time in the woods so hopefully i'll see you next week take care stay safe stay sane Mwah.